Hey, what's up? It's your boy 24 7 here with 24 7 Fusion Media. And uh, just within the last few hours of this morning, there's been a lot of rumors hitting that DC Studios are actually considering making Robert Pattinson's Batman the official DCU's Batman, Dark Knight. So, to be real, that's very disappointing very very disappointing with james gunn and peter safran set to present the eight to ten year plan for the dceu to warner brothers this week a new report reveals that they're considering finding a way to bring the batman into the dcu so to be honest i don't even know what to make of this let's just see what the hell is going on in here well, the DC Studios DCU plans just took a very interesting turn. Variety confirms that the co-CEOs James Gunn and Peter Safran will present their 8-10 to 10 year slate to Warner Brothers executives in the coming days, consisting of movies, TV shows, and video games that are all interconnected. It sounds like an ambitious plan, though it's one which sure will evolve once the studio weighs in. However, according to the trade, a well-placed source says, James Gunn and Peter Safran are exploring the possibilities of incorporating filmmaker Matt Reeves' iteration of the Batman with actor Robert Pattinson into their wider universe. So basically, if this is true, then you see why they asked Michael Keaton his role in Aquaman. And then you can see why they chopped Ben Affleck's role in Aquaman. Because it seems like that they have a bigger idea in mind of bringing what possibly what it what it is a younger batman into the fold but the thing is robert pattison is not your ideal bruce wayne bruce wayne has just as much as everything to do with the dark knight as batman and even then his batman wasn't the greatest so this is going to be another move that's going to actually divide the fandom because Matt Reeves, the Batman, was a shit Batman. I don't give a fuck how many people liked it. Him being a noisy-ass Batman, stomping his way through fucking dark alleys when he's supposed to be as silent as a fucking ninja. I don't want to hear that shit. But let's move on. We know Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Vaslav is keen to move from having multiple versions of Batman on screen and as much as we love Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton, prioritizing Pattinson's Bruce Wayne makes the most sense. There was nothing in that movie to suggest it couldn't be part of a wider universe. Oh, Lord. All right, let's keep going. Fuck. It's worth noting that the Batman director, Matt Reeves, hasn't ever said he's against this version of the Cape Crusader being part of a bigger universe. He just wants his movies to remain standalone in nature. That'll never happen. As, as soon as they add him into the fucking universe, there's no way in hell Batman's gonna stay fucking the only fucking hero in his own shit. There's no way it's happening. Because how the fuck are they gonna connect Batman to the bigger part of the universe if they're not willing to at least include any kind of cameos or some other shit in his movies? Ah, uh, whatever. The Batman opened to hugely positive reviews and with a slate of small screen spinoffs in the works, why wouldn't the Batman be a part of the DCEU? Now we just have to hope Pattinson is on board with joining the Justice League. Oh my God, you know how stupid that shit sounds? Elsewhere in the report, it's mentioned that former DC Films executive Pam Abdi had to tell Aquaman of the Lost Kingdom director to scale back his reshoot plans. Why? The sequel budget has already ballooned to a whopping 205 million so it's no wonder there are ramblings that jason momoa could swap arthur curry for lobo in the dceu oh please i'm so sick of hearing about that shit so what do you think about robert pattison joining the dcu i mean to be honest i don't give a fuck about robert pattison's the batman you know i don't know what everybody sees in this shit but to me he's not batman so if he's going to be a part of the DCU, that's fine. He'll just be a part of the DCU that I just pay no fucking mind to. So you can have Justice League or you can throw him all in that motherfucker. I won't be watching for him if that's the case. I'll be trying to check for what Superman's doing. As far as the Batman, 
and spinoffs and the Batman 2 and all that shit, man. Matt Reeves and the rest of y'all can have it, man. I don't want to, I ain't going to have no part in that shit, man. I just thought he was a whack-ass Batman and I'm just going to stick to it. He's a whack-ass Batman and that's it. So can't nobody convince me I don't care about that shit. I just know that he, to me, he just doesn't fit, man. He just doesn't fit. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're going to do, but as far as this goes, not on board. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> People can bomb the comment section. I don't give a shit about that. Just, uh, you know, I've made videos before from the beginning of when we found out that Robert Pattinson was going to be Batman and the bullshit he was pulling from the beginning. I'm not on board with this dude. So yeah, this shit ain't going to make it no better. Just the fact that now he gets to play with Henry Cavill and everybody else in their sandbox. You, you can skip me with that shit. So that's my take and that's how I feel. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Are you excited or interested to see Robert Pattinson replace Ben Affleck and become the official Batman of the DCU? Like I said, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, it's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.